In this video we will deal with the design and operation of a vapor and metal thermometer. So let's get started. The less popular vapor pressure thermometers operate on the same principle as liquid in metal thermometers or gas in metal thermometers. For this reason, they are also referred to as vapor in metal thermometers. In vapor pressure thermometers a highly volatile liquid is used, but only partially occupies the thermometer volume. The liquid begins to vaporize and fills the rest of the volume with vapor. As a result, the pressure rises until an equilibrium between the liquid phase and the gas phase is reached. In simple terms, the rising pressure causes the vaporizing particles to be forced back into the liquid state. This equilibrium between vapor and liquid depends on the temperature. The figure shows the vapor pressure curve of water as an example. If the temperature rises, more liquid will vaporize and the vapor pressure will rise accordingly. This rising vapor pressure is indicated by a Borden tube, as with gas-filled thermometers. Conversely, a drop in temperature causes part of the gaseous vapor to condense and the vapor pressure to decrease. The indicated temperature decreases. Since vapor pressure curves are not linear, the scale of vapor pressure thermometers is not divided into equal steps. Due to the exponentially increasing vapor pressure curves, the scale distances increase with higher temperature, so that the measurement sensitivity and accuracy increases as a result. Vapor pressure thermometers should therefore be used in the upper third of the scale for sufficient measurement accuracy. Vapor pressure thermometers can be used at very low temperatures, which are only a few Kelvin above absolute zero. We hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Thanks for watching.